What is going on guys? Sterling with Handsome WP. In this video, we're gonna take a look at adding scripts to your WordPress website. Whether you're using WooCommerce or just WordPress, you're probably going to need to customize either CSS, JavaScript, or a PHP function every now and then. So I'm gonna show you how you would add those, some of, some of the different ways we can do that, and some of the reasons why we'd wanna do it. Uh, you may be using a plugin, like a script plugin or something like that, versus just adding it directly to your actual functions.php or your theme files. So let's jump right into this. First things first, guys, we're gonna come and we're gonna come to appearance and then we're gonna click on theme editor. And I'm gonna zoom in a hair so you can see. So if you go into your theme editor, you can just edit your actual WordPress and theme files directly from the theme editor. So you can click into your functions.php. Here's my functions.php. You can come down to your, your header and your footer. You can actually go to your custom uh, CSS style sheet and you can search up and change and edit things in here. Now, I would not suggest doing this and the reason for that is that we really don't want to, uh, we don't want to, I mean, managing your CSS in here, well, it's all minified so you can see it's all jumbled together um, or even adding below this, it's just, it gets a little bit crazy. I would, I would choose specific places to add specific scripts or specific uh, functions so that you can keep everything organized. You're not looking for the button code that you put in a month ago that you forgot where you put it because it's in, is it in the custom style or is it in some other places. So we're gonna kind of start with CSS. Where should we add CSS to our website if we want to add uh, some CSS? Now there's basically two different um, times that you would need it and it would be one would be global if you're changing a button color or a button style for your entire website you would add a global CSS and sometimes you want the ability to add CSS to a specific page so we'll run over two methods to do this and uh, they're super easy so let's go into our appearance and we're gonna go into our customizer and this should be by default, doesn't matter what theme you're running, you should always have an additional CSS tab here in your customizer. You can add global CSS styles uh, here. So if you want some style to be applied across the website, now it is gonna be loaded and applied across the website. So as long as that's what you're wanting to do, this is the perfect place to put it. So uh, put it in your additional CSS styles and that is inside your customizer. So one more time, run through how to get there. Appearance and then customizer. And then once we're on the customizer page, we come down to the additional CSS tab, and that's going to open up this CSS loader, and you can just load your CSS directly into there. So that is one place to do it. Now I'm gonna use a plugin to actually for adding JavaScript to the website and adding CSS, because it's just a header scripts section. So let's go to our plugins, and we'll take a look at the plugin that I added. And it is called, if we scroll down, header and footer scripts. So there are two different places where header and footer scripts allows you to add code and uh, it can do it globally. So if you go to settings, header and footer scripts, you can add, uh, so you could add CSS code here. I don't see a reason to add it here. Uh, you'd have to put style tags and put your CSS there. I would load it in the customizer CSS section, but if you did have like a JavaScript, we're not gonna cover JavaScript yet, but this is where you do it. But if you wanted to load CSS on a specific page, so say you wanted, on your demo page, you want it to load uh, your button color. You want it to be bright orange instead of your normal button color. You could come down to this insert scripts to head section. You could put your style tags and then plop your page specific CSS right, uh, right on this page and it'll load it in the header and apply it to your page. So just to recap quickly, if you wanna load CSS per page, I would use the header and footer scripts on the page. So it's actually gonna be the section on the page, add your style tags and add your code in there. And if it's going to be the global, then we would go to the appearance customizer and then go down to the additional CSS. So that's adding CSS to your website. You can customize look and feel of anything you want on WordPress as long as you understand CSS. Uh, now let's talk about JavaScript and we have the same kind of, same kind of issue is sometimes we wanna load a custom JavaScript library or we want to load um, some custom JavaScript or jQuery or something on one of our pages, but we don't want to load it always across all of the website because that can increase site bloat and we don't really need to. So if we wanted to load something, like say we wanted to include a uh, font awesome or something like that, we could just include that script here in our header, in our header and footer scripts plugin. And then uh, we save the settings and that is going to load this guy 
across the board on our website. So that would be loaded globally if we wanted to load it on just a specific page. On this demo page, you'll actually notice I have some bootstrap code in here. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna remove this style and then I'm gonna actually remove these script tags that I'm loading in the header. So let me just cut those out and update and then we'll preview this page. So, and this is actually adding, uh, I'm actually adding style in here as well, but you can see that I have a launch demo modal button and I have my modal content that's all just loading in my content on my page. And the reason it's loading in the content on my page and not actually loading the modal is because I don't have the Bootstrap JavaScript and Bootstrap CSS loaded on my website. But um, you probably wouldn't wanna just load these on random pages throughout your website. You can bump into conflicts between Bootstrap and some of your other stuff, but if your theme uses Bootstrap, you could definitely include some of this stuff. Or if you just are building kind of a standalone page and you wanna use, say, a modal from Bootstrap, you can do that. So let's go back to our page. We're gonna come back down to our insert scripts to head section and I will paste in the, and this is just the style sheet and the, the JavaScript uh, library for or the bootstrap bundled JS uh, for um, bootstrap. So let's come back to our front page and refresh. And now you can see it is loading that style in and it's loading the JS. So I get my nice modal, I can close it. And this way I'm able to use elements that maybe are not built directly into my theme. Uh, I can use external uh, JavaScript libraries and CSS libraries and things like that in my WordPress theme on a specific page. And I would just load those, like I mentioned, in that insert to script head just load that right into the head of my page that I need it loaded on because maybe I'm not using this modal on every single page of my website. So I don't want to load this code site wide. I just want to load it on this specific page. Now let's talk about a function guys. Let's talk about adding functions to our website. So WordPress a lot of the time uh, needs to be edited through what are called hooks and there are filter hooks and action hooks so you can customize certain things on the website by adding certain hooks like with uh, WooCommerce I'll give you an example let's go to a plugin called the snippets plugin and let's actually just look at the plugin real quick so it is called code snippets and then if you search it up in your plugins uh, you're just gonna search code snippets and it has a little so let's search code snippets and it has a little pair of scissors and that's how you know which one it is. And now we'll go look at the code snippets interface. This is a great option for adding uh, functions to your website or PHP code to your website uh, versus adding it directly into your, uh, into your theme editor. The problem with editing your functions.php, well, number one, if you're using, if you're not using a child theme, which if you don't know what a child theme is, let me explain this real quick. So you have basically your theme code but you have a team of developers who maintain the theme code. So you're using uh, Divi or you're using some other theme, Astra or something like that. Well, that theme code gets updated when they push updates and they add new features and things like that. And they will overwrite your themes, uh, your functions.php in your theme files. So you create what's called a child theme and that has a functions.php as well. And WordPress knows that, hey, I'm going to pull uh, my functions and I'm going to pull style sheets and things from the child theme and then that way it's not being overwritten. So if you have a child theme, you are able to add hooks directly into your functions.php, but if you accidentally leave off a semicolon or you mess up the script or you're testing out a script that you got online somewhere on Stack Overflow or something, uh, you can take your website down. If you don't have FTP to go in and change what you changed, or you can't remember what you added or what you removed, it can kind of cause some big issues. It can kind of ruin your functions.php file. So, um, so I, I would say always, if you're gonna edit it, always back it up, have FTP, but I would suggest just don't do it. It's just not worth it. So let's head back over to our snippets plugin. We're gonna pop into our snippets, and then I'm gonna actually demonstrate uh, I'm gonna demonstrate a snippet that I have added. So here you can see we have a little action hook. So our action hook is saying um, after our content checkout button, so after our checkout button on our checkout page, we're going to add a little security image. And I actually have a video running over how to do this if you wanna go and learn about that. But let's open up our checkout page just so we can see this in action and see that it's functioning. So if I scroll down, you can see here, I don't have anything loading below my button, but if I come back to this snippet and you can add in your PHP code here, and then you can select where it runs. So you can run it only for administrators or you can run it on the front end of your website. You can set the priority as well and a little description of what it is. And then you can actually sort them by tags. But if I come down and click save changes and activate, 
and then I come back to my checkout page and refresh, you'll see that it adds this little title in and then it adds a security image to my checkout. So I'm able to do that via an action hook and you can do all kinds of really cool stuff in, uh, in WordPress via hooks. So very powerful, but I would add them using something like the code snippets plugin instead of adding them directly to your functions.php. And then that way you can also pop into your snippets and you can say, oh, so I have these three snippets activated. One of them's causing an issue, let's just turn it off. And then you can just turn that snippet off or delete it, or you can actually export and import. So if you had certain snippets that you wanted to bring from site to site, you could export and import all of your, your code snippets and turn them on as you needed. So it just helps you stay a lot more organized and uh, keeps you from breaking your site. This last one, guys, is gonna be a shout out to a plugin that I love and I've used in multiple of my tutorials. And it is called Advanced Scripts. So here we go, we're gonna click into our Advanced Scripts and it's kind of similar to Code Snippets, just on a whole nother level. If you are using Advanced Scripts, you don't need to add code anywhere else. You can just add it all through Advanced Scripts and that's because they allow for code ed edition in CSS, JavaScript, PHP, HTML, they'll actually let you upload a file directly to your WordPress installation and host it and access it from there. So it's just really, really slick. So you wanted, say I wanted to load uh, that same functionality. So let's go back to my checkout and refresh. You can see that's gonna disappear because I turned off that snippet. Uh, but let's go back to here. And I think I have that snippet here as well. Add guarantee image to Woo checkout. So I'm gonna turn that snippet on here. This is just a PHP snippet. Uh, and you'll notice that it has has code markdown, so it actually tells you if there's an error or something, and it has error catching, which is super awesome. But let's go back to our checkout and refresh, and then you can see that image has been added back again, but now via my advanced script. I can choose where my hook, when my hook loads, so I can load it at any point, uh, header, footer, login page, admin, and then I can choose it where, if I load on the front end, admin, or in a short code, I can add conditions so I can say only load this when the uh, parent post type is or the parent post is the whatever or you can set when the post type is a certain post type or the post is my checkout so only load it on my checkout page and that way you're going to keep your website from loading scripts uh, across the board that you don't need on all your pages which is really nice so you can add these conditionals um, and then apart from the conditionals and all the functionality over here we're also able to just turn those off and uh, turn them on. We can also export and import uh, just like before. So really powerful, really awesome. And then I have one view for all of my custom code, whether it be custom CSS that I wanna load per page, or even like see Google Analytics I have here, WooCommerce custom styles. Uh, and then you're able to just add and edit and customize things as you need. So there's some CSS, uh, but it's super powerful, super awesome. And I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for you guys to check out advanced uh, scripts if you guys would like to. It is paid, but it's one-time purchase and you have it forever and you can use it on unlimited sites. So really awesome. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, my name is Sterling with Handsome WP. We have created a suite of plugins that work with WooCommerce in order to uh, make your WooCommerce checkout process just a lot, convert a lot better, look a lot better and adds just tons of functionality. We have one called Handsome Checkout, we have one called One Click Upsell. If you want to go and check those out, I'll have links in the description for you to check those plugins out. They're super awesome. If you use WooCommerce, you want Handsome Checkouts. Um, and then One Click Upsell is kind of like the next level of, of just increasing your revenue and uh, offering your customers uh, products during the checkout. So it's super cool and super powerful. But um, if you have any questions about anything in this video, be sure to leave a comment below. If you have any video requests, be sure to leave a comment below and we'll get those videos made. If you could subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up and you wanna see more content like this, I would really appreciate it and I will see you guys in the next video.